Welcome to Crimsave Talking Tech. My name's Glenn Rees, I'm the senior designer here at FPR, and today we're going to be talking about brakes. So with Car the Future, we still have a control brake package. Uh, we've moved from an Alcon supplied cast iron rotor to an AP supplied cast iron rotor. Um, the most obvious difference obviously is the size. We've gone up from 375 millimeters in diameter up to 395 millimeters in diameter. Uh, other changes are now a control mounting system. So the new AP uh, rotors require a, a bobbin, a floating bobbin style of, of mount. Uh, with the old Alcon rotors we were free to uh, have whichever type of mount we, we desired and so but here at FPR we chose to run a, a strap drive mount. Uh, the other main thing that you can't see is the cost differential. Um, these rotors are about uh, maybe 70% of the cost of the old rotor. Uh, and they seem to be lasting a lot longer and giving better retardation as well. Another part of the control brake package that was changed from uh, last year to this year is of course the calipers. Uh, as with the rotors, we've gone from Alcon supply to AP supply. There's actually quite a considerable cost saving. These AP calipers on the front are about half the price of the Alcon calipers. Um, and there's a similar saving on the, on the rear. As you can see, there's a, a bridge which is uh, going to need to be removed for the endurance events. Um, that aids the stiffness of the caliper and uh, helps uh, with braking feel and, uh, and obviously wear as well. Uh, on the rear here we can see the rear caliper mounted up to the control upright. Uh, in terms of specification between last year and this year the calipers are pretty similar. The front caliper still has uh, an aluminium construction with six pistons and the rear caliper, the same sort of construction with four pistons as per, uh, as per last year. One area of the control brake package where there is some freedom is in the, uh, the brake pads themselves. Here we have a, a couple of different, uh, different suppliers brake pads. These have all been used. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're still quite serviceable. Uh, we tend to replace the pads not like you would on a road car when it's down to the steel, but when the, when the performance drops off. Uh, these are probably around about $50 cheaper per set than the, uh, than the, the previous pads that we ran with the Alcon calipers. Um, in terms of choice, uh, it's very much a, a personal thing with the driver as to what they prefer to feel. Uh, a different pad will give you different characteristics at different points of the stop. Uh, depending on your, your car setup and your, your driver uh, will sort of dictate which way you go with that. The front brakes run at anywhere between 800 and 1000 degrees uh, on a race weekend and obviously ducting cold fresh air to those to cool them is, is critical. Ducting is still free with Car of the Future. Uh, although we're not allowed to use the uh, water brake cooling that we used to use. Uh, despite that, we do actually have uh, significantly better life with, uh, with brakes front and rear. The rotors are more stable, uh, there's less warping. They also offer better retardation. Uh, despite all that, we still go through uh, two sets of brakes each weekend. The front brake package uh, cost for the weekend on one car would therefore be around about two and a half thousand dollars. So there you have it. That's the uh, Car of the Future 2013 AP brake package. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clean. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimpSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimpSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today because if it's not CrimpSafe, it's not CrimpSafe.